We are on week 12 of this uh, college football season. And I am going to be helping you guys with some prize picks lines that I uh, find particularly appealing this week. Uh, my name is Ethan Sowers. I am a DFS contributor here at Campus to Canton. Uh, we'll just hop into the, the top plays that I'm, uh, I'm adding to my tickets this week uh, within prize picks. The first one is going to be Cody Schrader running back from Missouri. Uh, they are going up against Florida this week. Uh, prize picks has the line set at 116 and a half rushing yards for him. And when I first saw this line, I was very inclined to lean more. Uh, I think the Florida, uh, performance, uh, against Ray Davis, uh, is, is fresh in my mind and, and very, um, influential when it comes to how Florida defends the run. Um, I took a look at the, uh, the stats for, how they've done against the run and they've been pretty leaky against the run. And so um, you might be wondering how I got to this less uh, on Cody Schrader. So a few factors there. Yes. That Ray Davis game, uh, Ray Davis ran for 280 yards back in week five against Florida. Um, but on the season uh, total for the Gators, they have only allowed one other running back to go for over hundred yards. And that was Raheem Sanders rocket sanders 103 yards in week 10. um and so part of the reason why it looks like they've been gashed so hard on the uh ground has been their performance against mobile quarterbacks um we know that uh milro and Jaden daniels both have really kind of had huge games against them that have um influenced the overall rushing stats uh for them um, but the fact that they've only given up two 100 yard plus running performances uh, to running backs so far this year, um, and only one of those was over for over the 116.5 uh, yard mark. Um, I, I do like Cody Schrader um, being challenged this week uh, in terms of Missouri and how they stack up. So anytime the spread has been outside of seven and a half in a Missouri game this year, that's in favor of Missouri or against Missouri. Um, only once has Schrader ran for over 116 and a half yards in that, uh, situation. And that was in week one against South Dakota. Um, so those two factors combined, uh, really makes me lean, uh, the under here make me, makes me go less, uh, than 116 and a half rushing yards for Cody Schrader this week. The second one, uh, doesn't have quite as much calculus involved. Uh, Caleb Williams, 24 and a half, uh, fantasy points this week. Um, so I'm going with more this week. Um, only once when USC has been favored has Caleb failed to deliver um, a 25-point performance game. Um, and that was against Utah. And Utah has been notorious for giving Caleb fits over the past two years. We've got a, a big rivalry game, very likely the last game that Caleb Williams is going to be playing in uniform for the Trojans. Uh, I think he is a very solid play this week. Um, at getting more than 24 and a half uh, fantasy points. Sticking with the fantasy points theme here, I've got two plays from the same game that we'll talk about. I've got Samuel Brown and Rashad Owens, both of them going for more than 13 and a half fantasy points. Uh, when it comes to Samuel Brown, so he's got 8.8 8 targets per game so far this year. Um, Matthew Golden uh, has just been rolled out for the season. Um, and so I'm anticipating a little bit of an increased workload, even though last week, you know, he struggled in that role as the number one receiver um, against, uh, I believe it was Cincinnati last week. Um, anyway, so uh, just a very challenging performance for him. Um, but I think that this Oklahoma State, uh, defense is a breath of fresh air for Houston to go up against Oklahoma State 128th in the nation in passing yards against per attempt. They're allowing 8.7 yards uh, per pass attempt um, to opposing the uh, opposing offenses. I'm expecting a bit of a shootout here, and that's a little scary considering Donovan Smith and Alan Bowman are the quarterbacks at play. Um, but Samuel Brown definitely has the explosive tendencies and the ability to make big plays against this Cowboys defense. Um, so 13 and a half uh, fantasy points, you, you're probably banking on a touchdown for both of these guys, um, which I think is definitely in play for Samuel Brown, maybe a little bit thinner of a play for Rashad Owens, um, but Samuel Brown feel very confident in that 13 and a half fantasy score. 
For Rashad Owens, um, he's getting 7.7 .7 targets per game. However, he's got 25 in the last two weeks. Um, so really exploding with usage uh, for the Cowboys in the past two weeks. Um, obviously, last week, Ollie Gordon uh, was shut down a little bit, so they did lean on the passing game a little bit more. I think game script was just weird for the Cowboys last week um, and, and did influence that a little bit. Um, but for Rashad Owens, he's got another great matchup. Houston, 89th in the nation uh, in passing yards against per attempt. That's 7.8 yards per pass attempt that they're allowing. Um I think that he is in the role that you want to see an Oklahoma State receiver. He's in that outside boundary role um, in this Gundy offense. Uh, it just really seems like the way that they've been leaning on him. And if we combine that with the fact that I do think Houston's going to be able to put up points, I think it will force their hand a little bit to pass the ball, um, may even just a little bit more than usual. Um, and I think that Owens has the ability to make a big play doesn't have great touchdown volume so far this year. He's only got one touchdown. That comes from the fact that Oklahoma State really doesn't throw the ball in the red zone quite that much. And why would you when you've got Ollie Gordon performing great? Um, however, I think that they have the ability to score from deep a little bit more this week against Houston. Houston's defense is just that susceptible to big plays. Um, so I, I do think that Rashad Owens has a, a, a performance above 13 and a half fantasy points this week. And then the final play that I'm rolling out this week is going to be Taj Brooks, more than one and a half receptions. Um, so he's up against uh, Central Florida this week. UCF has allowed uh, plenty of receptions to running backs this year. Ashton Janty in week two uh, had five receptions. DJ Giddens in week four had eight receptions. Gavin Sawcheck and Marcus Major combined for five receptions in week seven. Um, in the past two weeks, both Cincinnati's running back uh, rotation and Ollie Gordon um, were able to go ahead and uh, get two receptions, which would put them over uh, the threshold here at one and a half. Taj Brooks has just been such an engine for the Red Raiders so far this year, particularly since um, Tyler Shuck went down. I, I see no reason why Taj Brooks isn't going to get this mark unless, you know, just crazy game script where Texas Tech doesn't have to throw. Um, but I think particularly if UCF comes out and uh, jumps out to as quick of an offensive performance as they did last week against Oklahoma State, I think they're really going to force uh, Texas Tech's hand, and we will see Brooks utilized heavily um, on both the ground and through the air in the receiving game. So um, Taj Brooks, more than one and a half receptions. Uh, to recap what we've got here, I've got Cody Schrader, uh, less than 116 rushing yards uh, this week against Florida. I've got Caleb Williams, more than 25 and a half uh, fantasy points against UCLA. I've got Samuel Brown and Rashad Owens, both over 13 and a half uh, fantasy points in their matchup uh, of Houston against Oklahoma State. And then finally, I've got Taj Brooks, more than one and a half receptions this week against Central Florida. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions in the uh, Discord. I'm more than happy to jump in there and, and discuss with you guys. Um, week 12, we are winding down to the end of the season. Next week, we have the most tantalizing DFS slate of the year uh, with, with uh, the Thanksgiving, both NFL and college football slates. Um, it's a great week to play DFS if you're a, uh, a fantasy sports player. Um, definitely get in there and jump into DraftKings, Prize Picks, FanDuel, all all of the above will have great offerings. So um, enjoy some football.